We all like to think of childhood as this time of joy and innocence. But, I mean, for many of us, it's just not true. When you grow up in these type of situations, it's not something you, you talk about. I know I didn't. The first thing that we found is that adverse childhood experiences are common. They don't know what's going on. They won't remember anyway. Well, the child may not remember, but the body remembers. There was this incredible gee whiz effect. You, you mean adverse childhood experiences cause heart disease and lung disease and liver and cancer? Exposure to trauma affects children's developing brains. impact is on your behavior, it's on your heart, it's on your DNA, like how do you, how do you deal with all that? I don't reach out because I'm not used to that. We have a whole new body of knowledge now that could open up what we have up till now been seen as intractable, unsolvable problems. No child should be punched or kicked. No child should be punched or kicked. If you can get the science into the hands of the general population, they will invent very wise actions. Do you feel like any of the interventions have been making a difference? They've made all the difference in the world. It's there, it's possible, and a defeatist attitude is completely disconnected from what 21st century science is telling us. And we should be going after that like a bear.